Alright, so I added uh, three more CD games to my collection. We've got Top Hunter, Roddy and Kathy, Mutation Nation, and Ninja Commando. I'm really happy to have this one. Um, now, I was going to uh, do something about Ninja Commando, but I realise I've already done a video about the gameplay for that. So, instead, this time, I'm just going to make a really short video about um, sort of easy ways to spot if uh, a CD game is a fake. Because I actually had an issue buying a copy of Mutation Nation, which turned out to be a fake, sadly. But, um... Uh, I got a full refund and everything, so it all worked out fine. It wasn't any problem. But they are out there, so there's a few things you can do just to, like, sort of make sure that what you're buying is genuine. Okay, so this doesn't really tell you if the, the game and everything is genuine, but it's like a little thing. The original Neo Geo CD cases, uh, the front plastic, the clear plastic here, has a Neo Geo logo in the corner. You can just sort of see, it's actually quite hard to get it to show up. I have to get the light to reflect. There it is. So that's like sort of very lightly etched into the plastic. And it's quite common that when you buy Neo Geo CD games that the case has been replaced because, you know, they get cracked so easily. So you don't always get this logo. Um, but yeah, so this is like one way to know if it's an original like Neo Geo CD case. So here's the manual, and obviously manuals are like, you know, they're getting quite good at copying these things. You, you can see some rather good examples, but still, there's a glossy feel to the, the cover and the pages. They don't feel like paper, they feel like a bit plasticky, and they're nice and sharp. And have colour logos on the front and back obviously the uh the fake manual i got when i got that fake copy of uh mutation nation it was like regular yellowish paper the paper inside looked naff it was obvious it wasn't real here's the spine card um obviously these are again quite easy to fake but still everything about this copy is real so i've got no reason to believe that this isn't Next thing to check is that the code on the back of the manual in the corner there, ADCD004, and the code on the CD match up, and that is the correct code for the actual game. Uh, the pirate copy I got, the codes didn't match, and they were wrong. So for the next part, I'm actually just going to quickly switch to my copy of uh, Mutation Nation. And... One of the things that was wrong on the pirate copy I got is that they even got the text wrong. It said Ned, like the name, Battle Action Game, instead of Neo Battle Action Game. And I found that to be quite amusing. <laughs> but anyway, jumping back here. So it should be pressed and not like something that could have been done with a homemade printer. Sharp lines. There's a slight sort of embossing to this. It's a bit hard to describe. Um, and again, this text shouldn't be printed. You should see like the reflection of the metal of the CD through it. You can sort of get that effect. One of the last and probably most important details is this silver inner ring on the disc. It has two things of particular interest. Um, the game code ADCD004 should be in this ring. And also, there should be a barcode, if I can get it to focus, on this ring here. There, there, there's a good shot of it. So there should be a barcode there. And again, that's quite hard to fake. Uh, some fakes, you see, they try to do this, and it's like a solid strip. It's not a real barcode. I've seen some that are like a solid printed strip, that they're trying to fake it. And if I flip the disc over, like so, you can see that that barcode shows through to the other side as well. And also, the game code does. If I can get it to reflect, there it is. So that stuff, it, it's printed through that ring. And also, you should see that the disc should be pressed and not burned with, like, 
the rings of sessions that you see on burn discs. It should just be one clean reflective surface. Unless of course it's a blank disc. <laughs> and here's uh, Mutation Nation again and you can see there's that barcode, there's the game code. No burn rings and again the codes show through from the other side. So, you know, there's a few pointers to tell if your game is uh, genuine or not, or at least to give you a good idea. And these are things that are well worth paying attention to if you're going to buy something like slightly high ticket, like Ninja Commando or Mutation Nation there. And, uh, yeah, I hope that helps you if you're looking to buy any Neo Geo CD games.